In today's video, I wanted to take a moment and talk about the most controversial definition perhaps ever. What does it mean to homestead? Now, I want to preface this video by saying that a lot of the following is either a summary or a quote from one of you. I went around and asked over 100 people what homesteading meant to them, and these are all of their answers simplified. When people think of homesteading, they often think of the pioneer days, Little House on the Prairie, and similar things. There are a lot of differing meanings floating around, and I think all of them hold truth, but perhaps the most broadly accepted definition is this, a pursuit of self-sufficiency. Super broad, super vague, but it holds a lot of truth. Gone are the days of the homestead settler who depended on themselves for everything. Enter the modern homesteader. With modern homesteading, you can have power. You can have tractors and trains. You can go to the store to buy groceries. You can do all sorts of things. With modern homesteading, it really is all about the pursuit of the self-sufficient life. You know, back in the day, back in the beginning, homesteading was a way to get free land. You make a claim, live on the land, and just like that, it's yours. But now, homesteading is more geared towards the fulfillment of doing it. Whether it's a simple microgreen pot in the window of a 5 by 10 dingy apartment, or a fully self-sustained 300 acres, both are homesteading, and both are fulfilling. Homesteading in the modern day isn't about how many cows you have or how much food you can grow, it's just about the how. If you're living in a way that is actively pursuing self-sufficiency, then congratulations! You are homesteading. I think as more and more people look to off-grid homestead lives, I wanted to make sure that everyone knows that there's no reason you can't spark small and stay small. If for any reason you don't have the ability to live in a way where you're 100% self-reliant in a picturesque forest 300 miles from civilizations with only you and your dogs, I want you to know that it's perfectly fine. That's what content creators like myself and hundreds of others create for. We create for those who, for many reasons, can't live this life. We create so we can get others an escape from their 9 to 5 grind. So even if it's just for now, it's okay to keep growing that little garden in your windowsill. It's okay that you don't have enough space to free range your chickens. Homesteading isn't about the end, but the awesome parts in between. There's a saying that a lot of people believe that goes something like, I'll never be good enough until I'm perfect. But with homesteading, it's the exact opposite. There's no such thing as perfection, but good enough is far better than perfect. So I want you to know that I'm proud of you for homesteading. I'm proud of you for being better with each step, and I hope one day you can be proud of you too, because you deserve it. And because homesteading is a beat I think we can all jam to. So to sum up, whether you're just starting by growing a few ounces of microgreens or you've gone completely off-grid, what really matters is that with each step, you get one step closer to self-sufficiency. And that is what homesteading is all about. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watched this far, then perhaps you'll watch for me just a little bit more. Next month, I'm gonna be starting my own off-grid homestead experience in the wild. I'll be moving from my comfortable, temperature-controlled home to a very uncomfortable and uncontrolled forest. I'll be living alone in the woods without shelter miles from my nearest neighbor, pursuing a life fully self-sufficient. And I wanna share that experience with you. I wanna be able to learn all of these new things alongside of you for the first time. So if that sort of thing interests you, then click the red button below and follow along. 2020 was rough for a lot of people, myself included, but I have a feeling that 2021 is gonna be a fantastic year. So until I see you in the field, my name is Alex Harris, and this is how I live.